in the cabinet have also already agreed that for government contracts from now on, the basis for determining financial capability will be the financial statement submitted as part of the income tax return filed with the BIR. And not just like an ID that's part of a documentation requirement. We're in the process of convincing the BAP to do the same and not to rely on second set of books. That's illegal uh, as a basis for granting loans. A banker friend of mine warned me that if I do so, if we insist that it be the case, that maybe there will be a reduction in uh, loan abatements of uh, uh, companies. I, I'm not so sure whether that should be the case. No? It's like telling uh, uh, me that if we enforce traffic rules, people will stop driving or uh, taking the car to travel. Uh, I really think we need to help each other. Uh, we should uh, be able to determine what really is right and what is wrong. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. And let's not do it. Let's change the way we make judgment on uh, things. Uh, we're also going to uh, uh, work with Congress uh, to pass the Fiscal Responsibility Bill. This is very important in our fight uh, to consolidate our fiscal position. If they pass this, all new laws with an expenditure component will be required to have a revenue component so that it becomes deficit neutral. We're also working with them to review the fiscal incentives uh, uh, law. So these are the two things that we're working with uh, uh, Congress. We have other uh, programs. Uh, we've initiated the discussions with the IRS and the U.S. Uh, Treasury to update our information sharing uh, uh, agreement that was signed in 1976. Uh, we hope to uh, sign that uh, within the year and uh, hopefully that will allow us now to uh, have better access to information. In particular, what we're targeting are estate taxes. Our estate taxes uh, collection is pitiful. It's always less than a billion pesos. But if we uh, succeed in breaking all these layers of protection that lawyers design to avoid estate taxes, then uh, I'm sure just with one estate tax case, that, uh, that number can more than uh, uh, double. And we're also urging the banking system not to be in connivance with uh, families of the deceased in helping them avoid estate taxes. This is not just our fight or the fight of the government or the fight of President Aquino. It is our fight in making sure that we make our country better, that we reach the true potential given what we were given uh, by God as blessing a beautiful country with all the natural resources, endowments, and the right location at the center of Asia, which is going to be the center of economic activity for the next 50 years. So we need your help. And you must realize that there is a paradox of tax evasion. If you notice, our rich in the Philippines is not as rich as our neighbors, but our poor are definitely much poorer. So we're not doing ourselves any good by continuing to do the things the way we used to. So this is going to be a battle. In fact, we launched a website last fri two Fridays ago. And it's been so popular, we've gotten over 820 complaints as of this morning. It's the Pera ng Bayan website where people can actually send us tips uh, and uh, maintain anonymity. And uh, what we've realized is we're not just getting complaints about the BIR and the Bureau of Customs, we're getting complaints across the board. And uh, what we're doing is processing it and sending it to the respective department heads. And we're committing that within 60 days, we will have a response as to what we are doing with regards to those cases. Some of those do not have enough information, but some actually do. And um, pretty soon, we will be hopefully filing a case based on a complaint submitted in that uh, uh, website. Uh, 
working with uh, Secretary uh, Domingo, who has been tasked to help us uh, uh, simplify government uh, processes. Uh, once it's done uh, uh, simplifying uh, ease of opening business in the country, he will help uh, us uh, with some of our uh, processes as well. We'll work together as a team to make sure that the process in the Bureau of Customs, the BIR, will be simplified. One of the things we're thinking of in the Bureau of Customs is come up with three lanes, super green lane, green lane, and red lane. Super green lane, obviously, are the PESA importations that are duty-free from uh, uh, entities that establish a uh, track record. And uh, we're now reviewing the accreditation process. And the red lane, obviously, is uh, self-explanatory. So we will focus on this, and we will create associations of people in all those lanes to make sure that we continue to dialogue with the respective entities. Now the GOCCs. The GOCCs can do a lot of good if managed well. Unfortunately, most of them have not been managed well. Our task is to make sure that good governance is brought to them so that we avoid the NFAs and the MWAS of the world. We're in the process right now of working with the uh, Department of Budget, the PMS, and coming up with guidance that we can work with the directors that we've uh, appointed. We're also going to use information so that we can benchmark them against their peers either in the Philippines or outside the Philippines and against themselves to make sure that there is a basis for determining their performance. We also need to break up some of their functions because some of them have a confused function. For example, NFA. Uh, they actually uh, try to subsidize. When studies have shown that it costs them five pesos for every one peso of subsidy, that they are able to give to the poor. And their effectiveness in targeting the poor is only 27%, I think, based on a study. And clearly, we need to remove that function from them. They have three roles, regulatory, warehousing, and price stabilization. We need to move the subsidy to the DSWD. So we have to analyze all of these GOCC is to make sure that we are not confusing what their mandate is. And if there's no reason to have a GOCC, if it's well served by the private sector, we should let the private sector take care of those activities. So we're looking at uh, the over uh, 200 GOCCs. Some count say they're over 700. We actually don't have an actual count yet. We're in the process of making an inventory. But we want to assure you that we at the Department of Finance, working with my colleagues in the cabinet, we're focused on becoming more efficient, more effective, and in not wasting government resources. In fact, led by Secretary Abad of the Department of Budget, uh, we've adopted the zero-based budgeting uh, concept, and uh, that has uh, allowed us to limit the increase of the 2011 budget, but at the same time increase the amount of, of money that we're putting in the priority projects. And we know that there's still a lot of wastage there. So hopefully, hopefully we can improve the 2012 budget better. So again, uh, this is uh, not a one-month affair, a two-month affair. This is a journey. Our goal is to make sure that whatever we're trying to do is sustainable. So we're also dealing with the institutions. We need to create meritocracies. And in the Department of Finance, uh, in the Bureau of Customs and the BIR, we have the lateral attrition law that was passed in 2005. Unfortunately, we have not yet implemented it properly. The law allows us to reward those who perform and actually fire those who, meet their uh, who does not meet their budgets by 7%. But the key there is in goal setting to make sure that the goals are set fairly and with uh, the institution and the people working there and that they are measured fairly and they actually have a fair chance of hitting the target. 
And once you continue to reinforce this and bring in the right people, then we can have the foundation for building a true meritocracy in these re important revenue generating uh, uh, agencies. So uh, those are some of the things that uh, we're doing. The order of the day, the marching order of uh, President uh, Aquino uh, to us is good governance, make sure that uh, we reduce tax evasion, we reduce uh, smuggling. Uh, she's not here, but I'd like to recognize my partner in filing all of these cases, Secretary Leila de Lima. Uh, she's been uh, hardworking, and we're about to file the first cases that we've uh, filed before the courts. And hopefully the court system will uh, uh, process it uh, quickly so that we can see uh, convictions or dismissals uh, by the midterm of President uh, uh, Aquino. Again, this is not just a cabinet. We need your help to succeed. And we hope that uh, uh, we will get your support because our goal is only to uh, make sure that we uh, achieve the full potential of our country. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Purisima.